Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on for my week five of Marguerite Miller's collage assignments. So it's week six presently, but I have to catch up again. I was all caught up and then had to have a couple of weeks off, so now I'm behind a week. So I'm doing week five today and then I better find the things so I can get week six done and be caught up again. <laughs> so. So as you can see, I've got some bits and pieces here and I need to do some fussy cutting. So for this collage, we need a sewing item, something your state or country is known for, an item representing a childhood memory, something ornate, something that starts with the letter L, and the bonus is something pink. So I can see a fair bit of pink here. <laughs> So I will go and fussy cut and get things organised and then I will be back on and I'll probably speed it up and see you at the end.
So that was heaps of fun to get back to doing those collages. So we'll just double check that we've got everything. So we needed a sewing item, which is the threads down here. Something your state or country is known for. I found this galah and I thought he fit perfectly. Originally he was going to sit on her shoulder, but I temporarily forgot that when I stuck her over to the edge and chopped half her arm off. So I decided he could sit on the spinning top like it's having a ride on it. Um, an item representing a childhood memory. There's a couple of those. Firstly, the spinning top. I vaguely remember either having one of these metal ones when I was really young, or it was someone else's that we had at home. But I loved it, really loved it. So that is there. Also ballet. Um, you know, my mum, like a lot of mums, wanted me to do ballet because I was her only little girl. So she dressed me up in probably a tutu or something, which I hated, and sent me off to ballet class. And I remember the teacher tapping me on the butt and telling me to hold it in. And that was it. That was the end of me. I walked out of there crying and I was so offended that she touched my bottom. <laughs> so that was the end of my mum's dreams of me doing ballet. I did go on and do ballroom dancing and jazz ballet later on in life. But yeah, <laughs> no ballet for me after that. So I've got that ballet dancer twice. I thought I'd stick her in the mirror. Well, not in the mirror, in the um, picture frame. And that is something ornate. So I was looking for something ornate. And, I mean, she's got her little tiara on, but I really like the ornate frame here. So that's why I decided to use that. And I had another picture of her, and I thought that would fit in there perfectly. Something that starts with L, we've got the lollies. And then I found this paper, which is really cool. That was out of a, um, oftentimes in the bookshop people hand in kids activity books that have had things ripped out of or have been written in so we can't resell them and that had all these pages in so I've kept them but they're not the type of pages I'd use in my junk journal so it's great to find a use for those and that has life and love on it which also starts with L and then the bonus was something pink so I did use some of this pink fabric down here. We've got pink in the tutu, the lollies are pink, pink galah, and then there's pink on this as well. So definitely got the bonus in this time. So that is it, stacks of fun. I like the way that turned out. Uh, so yeah, if you want the prompts to do uh, the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Challenges, you can download all the prompts for the year from her Etsy, which is Mellow Miller, linked down below. So, and um, yeah, add the hashtag if you do do it so that we can all see what each other has done. Do take care of yourselves, be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.